So what is an RCT? Well, it stands for a Random Control Trial. If that didn't illuminate the situation for you, have no fear, I'm about to explain. You see, we use an RCT to decide if something works or not, like a pill, or a type of surgery, or an instructional video on maypole dancing. Let's say we want to find out if a certain pill cures baldness in men. We could do an RCT. You need to recruit a sample from the population you're looking to study. Today we need to recruit a group of balding men. When you have your sample, you want to randomly assign them to one of two groups. Either the intervention group, group A, who are going to get the shiny new pill, or the control group, who will get a placebo. A placebo is something that looks like the real treatment, but does in fact have no effect. So in this case we'll use a sugar pill. You don't tell the people which group they are in, and then you measure both groups at the end of the predetermined period. You compare the members of both groups, and today we are looking at how bald they are. If this pill is useful, we should see that those that had the pill are much less bald than those that didn't, as the only difference was which kind of pill they got. So do you have a cure for baldness, or something that is useless? This has been a very brief introduction to RCTs, and some might say oversimplified. Subscribe for more videos on RCTs and videos on health and data in general.